Hello everybody, this is Joseki bringing you an audio commentary. This audio is com copyrighted 2007wcreplays.com, so please do not go stealing it. Today I'm bringing you two replays of one of my favorite human players. He's more under the radar, but he's still, I think, an influential member of the community. Uh, he goes by the alias Box. Uh, many of you may know him for his website, demonreps.com. Uh, it's just like an awesome like replay parser website. I definitely uh, suggest checking it out. He also has a blog. I'm not sure the URL of that, but he's a really great human player. He's on the team Headhunters, which is a mostly European-based clan. And today I'm going to have two games of him. One, both games in Terranistan. Um, one game versus Elf and one game versus Human. I'm going to start off with uh, Human vs. Night Elf on Terranistan, uh, where Box does the typical fast expansion style strategy versus Elf versus Dark Ranger Panda. I thought this was a particularly interesting match, um, perhaps only if only because um, I have a, I have a lot of trouble in this match, and Box does it very has a very good clean win, but by all means it's not easy. Um, I guess on turn a stand, I'd say the main things that as a human player you need to keep in mind is Night Elf can really sneak up on you with massing especially with like a Dark Ranger first or like a Beastmaster first or any like any hero that can provide summons massing can be real trouble for you if you if you see a Demon Hunter you can expect attack most most all the time but um, if you see you know the Dark Ranger you need to be more way more uh, avid on your scouting because there's an opportunity for them to do fast expansions and um, it's likely that they'll be putting down a second war for hunt massing or archer hunt and then they'll put wars down at your expo and you know they'll do some sort of tricky push if you tech as human which I'm not really covering this game you can still have that trouble too versus dark ranger where they're gonna do some sort of massing although it's less uh, difficult to defend because you have you can call militia from the base they'll be attacking so it makes it a lot better for you on Terra Stand, you have a few creeping choices, I'd say. Versus Dark Ranger, um, you're always, as a human player, you're pretty much always 100% of the time going to get, go to your lab with three militia, creep that out, and then get your green, and just get your level two. It, it never hurts, it takes, it's a very small amount of time. This is one of the best human maps. I think it's the, in my opinion, the best human map in Warcraft 3. Just because of how easy it is to get level two, and furthermore, how exceptionally easy it is to get level three. So you need to take advantage of that. It's one of the, nat the innate advantages of playing this map as human. You get that free level two right at the start. And for, the, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> a level two arc a level one arc mage really is sort of shitty. He his whole uh, as an arc the main importance of the arc mage is you have mana regeneration for your army. But more importantly, he's the best hero to do a push in my opinion. The best hero to do a push in the entire game in my opinion. He water elementals, constant mana regen, he can keep the longevity of a push going for a very long time. So without Brilliant Zora, he loses a lot of his versatility. I mean, let's say in this game Box sees that like the Night Elf was teching without a war. You know what I mean? Like doing some stupid crap. Well, you know, with Brilliant Zora and towers and you can militia tower push them, it's like with Brilliant Zora it just makes your life way easy because you're gonna have that constant supply of water elementals. So it's very important to keep in mind why you're getting level 2 at the start and exactly how important it is. Okay, I'm at 2 minutes and 3 seconds. Uh, it should have been 2 minutes. I, I hope I said it at the start. I really dislike when I don't say it at the start because then I feel like an asshole because everyone has to pause it and then wait. But 2 minute mark. Um, I'm at 2 minute and 3, but I don't think it really matters. Um, so here, from Box, uh, from his perspective, Fog of War, I mine's off. You can do whatever you want. I don't think it's going to matter too much. I'm going to unpause in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, unpause. Okay, so right now Box is running down, as I explained, with his Archmage to creep out the Renegade Wizard and 2 level 3 Rogue Camp. Uh, the main thing to keep in mind when you're creeping this is you want to use one of your Militia to attack the Renegade Wizard at the start, or one of your foots, so that it casts, your, it casts its Purge not on the Water Elemental, but on one of your other units. Uh, his opponent this game is Armin VB from Twisted Reality, which is also a very respected uh, European clan. I believe they're from the Netherlands or from Sweden. I I'm not exactly sure. I don't quote me on where the origin of the clan is, but they're still a respected clan and they do play leagues. Um, you'll see what uh, Box does. He leaves his militia at the Goblin Laboratory because 
the lab has is I think like it's kind of like the human lab for me at least. Like wh when I'm playing, the lab is always I always make a lot of use of the lab, especially when you're doing an expansion because you're gonna have lots of extra resources. Um, shredder, first and foremost thing that comes to mind with the with the shredder, you have this basically limitless lumber supply. Any game where you're forced to make a few towers, like three to four guard towers per base, save a really shitty early game, you lose a footman to creeps, like, you're doing bad, you need to put, keep yourself on the game, so you know, you make some towers. You know, you need that extra lumber because you're also going to need your tier two buildings, or let's say you're doing mass towers and you're going to tank, you still need that extra lumber for the three workshops, which is an asshole lumber, you know. So that's one of the main reasons why lab is so great. Um, I'll get back to that in a second, but right now, um, uh, <laughs> Armin VB is coming to screw around with Box while he's creeping. If you notice what Box does, he calmly continues creeping while he get, finishes the camp, moves his peasants away so that they don't get focused, and then goes to fight the Night Elf. He doesn't spaz out and, like, A-click his army and then hope it works out. He doesn't, like, you know, it's just, he's very calm, and he just handled the situation very cleanly. Um, he has lots of extra peasants now at his base. Kind of didn't have much of a choice. He, it's always good to just call militia when they come with dark skeletons this early, because the skeletons add a lot of food to the night elf army that you really can't compete with, especially if they used a wisp to get rid of a lot of your water, all of your water elementals, or if they got rid of your mana from dispelling wisps. So it's really key to keep in mind um, those militia. Just have them on a hot key or something. And when you're fighting, and you always, I usually get defend after my fourth footman. Um, if you're expanding this early, I maybe sometimes creep the merc. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do, but I'd say depending on when you're expanding, how early you can get it your third or fourth footman. Um, I think Box does it after his third this game. Not positive, but I prefer to do it um, after my fourth, just because I like to have the extra footman. I think he's more valuable early game, early game than the defend is. So. Another thing about the lab is reveal. <laughs> I use reveal, like I abuse reveal as much as I can. I try and just so I don't forget that my dust. I don't have dust early game, you know, or I usually don't because I'm busy doing other things. So I can always use that 50 gold to just get a quick reveal if I want to get an archer kill or something. That's really important. Like it's like you know, I sometimes I don't even think to use it, but it's actually incredibly smart. Um, to just use it at all times, especially with Dark Ranger. If you can't get a footman to go and scout, or you can't get, you know, um, if you can't really scout their expansion, especially on Terran Stand versus Dark Ranger, you need to know, like, you need to know if you're fast expanding, because your whole game is need needs to be changed up at that point, if the Night Elf is fast expansion. So it's important that... Um, when you use reveal, at least early game, early on in the game, to try and scout the Night Elf expansions, or use a footman just running around one footman around the map, and scout those expansions, or use your reveal to, you know, uh, reveal like invisible units before you get dust. But there's also no reasons why you shouldn't have a dust, at least early on. Um, right now, um, uh, box just fended off this little huntress harass that um, uh, Armin was doing and you know it's it's difficult to beat but I think the main reason it worked is because he got his expansion up so quickly you see he power built it with like seven like seven freaking uh, peasants so you know it's difficult for Armin of uh, VB to actually stop that expansion or kill the peasants while they're running back and forth from the gold mine so it really it makes the ability for him to get skeletons heavily decreased, and with the arcane tower nailing his dark ranger, really not too much that uh, Armin can do about it as far as um, making his hunters push work. Um, I read there's a guide actually on Box's blog about this matchup, maybe even on this map, perhaps. But four peasants power building a main is really not enough. You need five or six. Four is really not enough. <laughs> I really can't reiterate this enough, and I've experienced it enough times to know. It's always good to have an extra two peasants. Like, six peasants power building, your your hull will get done so quickly. You could, it, it frees you up. It's like one less restriction. If you're constantly stuck at your expansion for the entire game, it's not really doing you much good. Um, you know, it's not, it's not doing you much good at all. It's just sitting there while the Night Elf creates his fast expansion and safely techs with, like, <laughs> eight 